What's up, insiders? Today, we're going to be going over the Smoant Taggers kit. Check out that graffiti look. It's another one of those plastic kits. The big question is, how does it stack up against all the others? Make sure you watch the whole review to find out exactly what I think. Here are the two mods they sent me for review. This is the graffiti one, which the look of it kind of grew on me. This is the back of the red and carbon one. I'll show you the front. All right. Kind of neat. We'll go over both of them, okay? 510 centered on both of them, of course, you know. Um, no texture or anything on the graffiti one. Kind of like a Scooby-Doo mystery van button over there, right? That's kind of weird. And the buttons, the up and down buttons, are almost camouflaged on the graffiti one. Kind of weird. Scre screen is very dim. It really is. It's almost useless in outdoor conditions. Let me show you the red one. The red one, the buttons, I think, look a little better. I do like the carbon fiber sticker, even though it doesn't have any texture to it. But as you can see, you can see the texture over here and the texture over here. That's kind of neat. There's your fire button right there. Some more carbon fiber sticker over here. For the purposes of this review, we're going to stick to the red one right now because I think it just shows up better on camera. On the top, we have a center-mounted gold-plated 510 that I would say has a medium throw with a medium spring to it. Stainless steel plate over here. Again, very, very plasticky. The whole mod just feels like plastic because that's what it is. I mean, it's just very, very cheap feeling. Some Smoant Taggers branding over there. Okay. Kind of a weird, I don't know, tadpole, teardrop shape type of fire button. I don't like that movement. I don't like that at all. But then again, what do you expect from a real budget type of mod like this? The button, the button's nice and clicky, but I wish, I wish this didn't have that movement. That kind of bothers me. It really does. Funny thing is, the graffiti one does it too. See that? Not crazy about that. I'm really not. On the bottom, you can see we do have some venting as well, as well as some Phillips head screws holding everything in place. All right, let's do a quick size comparison. Of course, the two Taggers mods are on the outside. This is the Orgvape VX200, and this is the Wismic V200. Both same you know, type of style, very plasticky type of mods. First, we'll put it next to the Org Vape. You can see the Org Vape is definitely skinnier. That's for sure, man. It's not as wide, okay? Both have sa same uh, center-mounted 510s, okay? Org Vape definitely has a bigger screen, okay? But it's just as dim. I don't know if that's just a thing with these cheap mods, but this one is really dim and pretty useless outside as well. When you compare it to the Wismic, it's more in the same footprint as the Wismic. It really is. The Taggers is definitely a lot wider, wider by a pretty nice margin. And the screen on the Wismic is definitely brighter than any mod on the table right now. Okay, but both center mounted 510, same type of footprint. This one's definitely wider in the hand though. In order to get to your battery compartment, you stick your fingernail in there and pop the door off. Once you have the door off, you can see they missed a little bit of paint over there. You do have some nice magnets, three of them in the corners, okay? And then you have three magnets here as well. Okay, so they did a nice job on that. Check out the battery tray Smoan. Great job. Plus and minus, clearly marked in white. Kudos to you guys. On the bottom of the battery tray, we have spring-loaded gold-plated contacts. On the top, we have gold-plated button-style contacts. Nice, clean battery tray. Very well marked. Awesome job on that. I can't say it enough. I'm happy I don't have to give them a con. You want to put your batteries in? No battery strap because it's very easy to get your batteries out, as you can see. So you don't need a battery strap, so that's kind of neat. Clip your battery door right on there. Solid. Solid as they come. Awesome, awesome fitment. Great job on that Smoan. Now you can see it does round robin. It goes in 0.1 watt increments. You can see it's kind of a little slow on the scroll, but it does scroll all the way up to the full 200 watts. 
Screen is definitely darker than I'd like to see it. I wish the screen was a little brighter. I really, really do. On the screen, you can see there is your battery meter. There is your mode, your wattage, your resistance, your voltage, and a W there for wattage. Menu system's pretty simple. Three clicks. You got your modes here, variable wattage, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, TCR mode, and DVW is your curve mode. Now, if we go into stainless steel mode, hit the fire button to confirm, you can see it goes up in 10 degree increments. It does round robin. If you want to change your wattage in TC mode, you hit the plus and fire button together. Now you can see the wattage blinking. Now I can scroll all the way up to the full 200 watts in stainless steel mode, and it will round robin. So that's kind of cool that you can adjust the wattage in temperature control mode. I definitely like that. Go back to variable wattage mode, and that's it. That's basically the whole menu system. Hit the plus and minus button together at the same time, and you power lock the mod. That means you cannot change the power, but it will still fire. Hit the plus and minus button together again, and it's unlocked, and now you can change your wattage. Let's go over the tank that comes in the kit. Okay, this is a disposable tank, much like the same one that came with that Aug Vape mod I just did. There is your fill port right there. They do give you a spare gasket. Drip tip is non-removable, okay? On the bottom, you can see we got your bottom airflow, stoppers on both ends, whatever you adjust on one side happens on the other side. On the bottom, we do have a stainless steel 510 with an insulator ring around it and stainless steel threading around that. This tank will hold 2 mLs of liquid. This tank has a resistance of 0.2 ohms with a 10 to 50 watt rating, a best of rating from 40 to 45 watts. Let me give you one last look of both colors all put together. Okay. That's the kit for the red, and here is the kit for the graffiti. Also included in the box is you get a tank fill-up card. You can see this tank holds 2 mLs of liquid. You get a warranty card, a battery warning card, a spare top cap gasket, I guess, for your tank. And you also get a Smoant Taggers user manual, along with a rather long micro USB cable. All right, insiders, let's get into them cons and pros. First con's going to be, and you saw it down low, it's got that real cheap, plasticky feel. Yeah, I know it's the nature of the beast, but it's still a con to me. Only one disposable tank in the kit? That's the equivalent of only putting one coil in the kit? That's a big, big con. 2 ml capacity, man. You're going to be filling this thing up all the time. I just don't dig it. It's got that dim screen, basically useless in outdoor lighting conditions. It's even dim indoors. 200 watt mod with a 50 watt tank that's 22 millimeters in diameter? Why? And the last con's gonna be, it scrolls in 0.1 watt increments. It's annoying as hell. China, you got to start either scrolling in half watt or full watt increments. This 0.1 watt increment is just garbage. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of complaining about it. Let's move on to the pros though, because there's a couple of pros on this one. It's light and it's easy to carry. That's a pro. Awesome battery markings done in white. I pointed out when they don't do them in white, I got to point them out when they do. Great job, Smoant. No rattles, no nothing like that. It's pretty solid build quality for what it is. The tank on this one actually has good flavor. They should have at least included two though, but the tank itself has nice flavor and clouds. Check it out. Not bad for a little 22 millimeter tank. I get a nice saturated flavor. It's not oh my God flavor, but it's definitely above average. I love the fire button on this mod. It's nice and clicky. Form factor is comfortable in the hand. It's got a very easy menu system. And the last pro I got to give it, I love that graffiti style on it. I know some people are not going to like it, but I'm kind of old school, right? I'm, I'm probably one of the older vape reviewers out there, and I'm probably showing my age right now. But it reminds me of what the subway cars used to look like in New York City 
in the late 70s and early 80s. So it kind of gives me that nostalgic feeling. I like it. I'm giving it a pro. So let's get into it, insiders. How does this one stack up against all the other plasticky mods that have been coming out lately? Out of all the plastic type of mods so far, I got to admit, I do like the Wismic and the Aug Vape one better. The Wismic uh, S200 or SV200 and the Aug Vape VX200. I definitely like those mods a little better. That doesn't make this mod a bad kit. I just happen to like those other two better. This is still good for what it does. All in all, it's a great knockaround mod. It's one of those mods that you don't give a shit if you lose. You can take it somewhere. If you know you're going to be partying or something like that. And you might forget a more expensive mod. If you forget this one somewhere, it's no big loss. If you're looking for a mod like that, this one is definitely in the running. The Smoant Taggers kit is a dual 18650 kit. It weighs 90 grams, has a maximum output of 200 watts. It measures in at 90 by 51 by 31.5 millimeters. It has a 0.96 inch OLED display. It has 1.5 amp internal charging, but we recommend you always charge externally. The tank is a 22 millimeter disposable tank with a 2 ml capacity that ohms out at 0.2 ohms. The protections on the mod are as follows, reverse polarity, overheat, low voltage, overcurrent, overtime, and overcharge. This mod is available in black, gold, gray, red, blue, and graffiti. Big shout out to Smoant for sending this one my way. Make sure you check out our link down below and go to our new Facebook group for a chance to win a $100 coupon at Vape Wild. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 pod systems. Now, last year was the year of the pod, without a doubt. And I know I tested well over 50 pod system 